Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. So I'm getting around to answering some of the community questions and one question that kind of stood out that I thought we can have a go at this is how do you edit the admin template? So of course in Django there are plenty of ways for us to manipulate the the visual elements, what's included on the template, uh, what data is shown, what models are shown, etc. But of course, we can go steps further and we can actually edit the colors and the kind of the general formatting of our admin area. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to take you through the steps of finding the admin templates, being able to then recreate or create your custom templates as you wish, and then just take you through kind of the a general templating styling system, how to access the styling and then potentially change it. Of course, there's a range of different HTML and CSS skills here that potentially you'll need to develop a, a new or a new style for your administration area. So I'm just going to take you and point you in the right direction and hopefully you'll then be able to maybe apply some styles that you want to include in your admin area. So I've gone ahead and created a new Django project, created a project here called core, and this is just a default setup. So I've gone ahead and migrated, done that, and I've created a super user. So I've turned on the server. So let's first of all talk about the admin templating. So here you'll notice that I'm using a virtual machine. Uh, so inside of this um, virtual environment, sorry, not virtual machine, virtual environment. So I've got the event here and inside of here, we've got a few folders. So let's just remember that when we actually get this working or when we get Django working, we need to actually install Django via, via pip, okay, the package manager. And that then enables us to actually then run Django. So our application uh, throughout um, this life cycle that we develop and while it's running, Django is actually kind of utilizing um, the Django package inside of our virtual environment, or if it's um, served on a server for wherever it's installed. So we actually have to install Django in order to actually run our program. So what happens is that that program um, is installed. So let's go ahead and just access it. So inside of the um, your virtual environment here, we've got this folder called lib and then site packages. So these are all the packages that we installed um, via pip. For example, one of them is, is of course Django. So inside of here, we have a new folder structure. And if we continue into the contrib and then admin, this is where we find the templates that Django uses for its administration. And notice here, we've got two sections, admin and registration. So there's two separate areas here for templates or admin and registration. So on the right hand side here, you can see a kind of structure here for the admin folder, um, all the different folders and all the different templates that you'll find inside of here. And there's a few here to discuss, which we're not going to go over in this tutorial, but let's just focus on kind of getting this up and running to get some basic in place so you understand what's going on here. So you can see, uh, for example, we've got some files here, uh, index, 404s, base. So these are all the base templates that are used in certain situations. So just to show you a direct correlation between the admin area in your uh, this is in your virtual environment and actually being shown on the admin. I can actually go inside of the admin. I'm in Visual Studio Code here. Uh, let's just go into the uh, the base, for example. Um, just have a look at this code. So this is where it would be handy to know a little bit about HTML um, as as well as Python and how to utilize some of these different elements here on the page. So you can see here, just, just by moving down, if you're not familiar with HTML, we've got this kind of headset here. Um, so we've got the head of HTML and then we've got the body. So everything inside the body is going to be shown on the page essentially here. So we've got the div and we've got a header. So you can see there's a branding area here and the branding block is being produced or um, put in there. So this is a direct correlation. Remember we're inside of the, um, the virtual machine here, we're going to directly apply our styling to the base um, Django uh, template. So, so this is uh, an example. Let's just change the word example here and let's just go into our application. So I've already logged in and I'm going to refresh and you can see there's a direct correlation. So these templates we can identify now, they are definitely being utilized and because we've just made a change to them, now, of course, this isn't the best way of working because what's going to happen here is if we start editing these templates here, 
potentially as soon as we update Django, remember this is the, the vent area here where we've installed via pip Django, that's just gonna be overridden. So it's definitely not the best place for us to start writing code and extending here in this area here. So what we need to do is to bring all this in and create overrides uh, for these templates in our own project so it becomes a more persistent um, override and then we don't need to worry about when we update Django or changes that are made in that section there. We can put it all within our project. So let's go ahead first and uh, we're going to set up some templates. So we just close that. So we're going to need a, a new template folder. This is inside of our main project, of course. So templates. Um, so that's the template folder there. Um, that's in our main project folder. And so of course we're using a template, so we're gonna to need to tell Django. So in the core here, in the main Django application, I'm gonna to need to set up the uh, directory here for our templates. Of course, you might have different opinions or you might utilize different folders, etc. I'm just gonna set it up as we've um, configured it here. So I'm gonna use the uh, import OS and that's gonna give me um, the ability to kind of use the path in the way that I intend to. Uh, so what we need to do now is just uh, tell Django where this new folder is. So we're going to use the, um, we're going to join the base directory here um, with the templates folder that we just built. So the base directory, the base directory of this application, and then we're going to connect it to the templates to build the, the whole directory path, which is going to be this folder right here. So notice here, um, that this directory is used first before the apps directory. So the templates are always gonna be loaded here first. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some templates to this area here. And that's then going to provide overrides. So Django is gonna read these templates first, as long as we've named them the same as what the templates are within the area that we just were in. It means that we're gonna then create a template which is gonna override the, temp, the original templates, which is in the, the default Django folder within this, um, in the library site packages. So go ahead and let's go ahead and make a new folder here. This is gonna be the admin. So this uh, matches the admin folder that is found within the um, virtual area in the lib site packages Django. So we're kind of um, making an override here for the templates and then inside of templates, we've got bear with me, um, where were we? Django, sorry, the contrib, sorry, <laughs> the admin. So we've got the admin folder and then inside of here, essentially we're just gonna replicate this folder here, um, right up here. So inside of here, we're going to create a new file. Now we are going to uh, replicate, in this case, it's gonna be the file that we're looking at, the base. So let me just get my bearings again. So in admin, we've got templates, uh, and then admin, so we've got the base. So what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna copy this file and then I'm gonna go back into my admin area and templates, I've got a new file called base. And okay, I'm gonna just paste it in. And then up the top here, uh, where we typed an example, I'm gonna call this example two. Okay. So I've directed Django to tell it that I'm using the templates folder, created some template overrides, so it needs to be an admin. And then I'm overriding the base by simply just copying and pasting in it in to my area here. So let's go back into our site manager and refresh. And you can now see it says example two. You remember the new file that I created, the override file? Um, I've just updated that. That's in our main folder structure of our project and templates. Uh, so just show you that again. And you can see it's now utilizing that template. No other changes have been made simply because I'm still utilizing all the other core functionality that's been prescribed previously within that file. So let's just think about some of the strengths and weaknesses here, uh, or just discuss a few points here. So we're creating our own template and we're basing it upon the original Django template. So one problem that might occur with this approach potentially is that what we've done, we've copied and pasted a lot of the code or all the code from the initial base file. So if, for example, Django were to make some massive changes to these templates um, or the other templates that this template um, requires potentially, 
uh, then there could be problems in the long run. But this is probably a better approach to take this type of overriding template than what we saw previously, where we um, were writing in the with the base templates inside of the Django folder. So as you imagine at this point, it's just a case of now identifying the templates within the packages, the Django admin, config, contrib, admin area, then templates and admin, admin, just navigating down to that path, finding the template you want to change, and then making some changes. So obviously we're going to move that into your admin uh, templates area that we created within the project, and then you can go ahead and make some changes. So that's a really kind of um, direct way of you kind of creating some changes in your Django admin. So just moving to CSS, so the actual styling of the page. So obviously there's, as you might imagine with CSS, there's many ways we could um, overcome and, and change, so make changes to the CSS. So let's just go ahead and just think about one approach. We can kind of override some of the CSS with inside the admin area. So let's go ahead and actually find these files inside of our virtual environments here. So it's going to be in the packages again. We're going to go into Django. Uh, so let's open up Django and our side of here. Um, we've got the contrib again inside of here. You can see I've already navigated here. We've got static admin. So it's going to be in the static files and then CSS. So we've got a range of CSS files here that are bringing it brought into our admin area. So uh, let's go ahead and just access the base. So we were using base.html. So we're going to have a look at the base here. So um, what we can do is we can search for different things. So let's go ahead and just right click, inspect or view, uh, inspect this page. And let's have a look at the header, see if we can get the color. So I'm going to just grab this color here. We're going to just change this color just to, just to highlight that we can do that. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and find this. So we've got this header area here on line 809. So the background color. So let's go ahead and just change this background color uh, to black, for example. So you can see now if I refresh. Now, if you refresh, it might not actually work because it's kind of cached, cached. So control F5, that kind of that would do a hard refresh. And you can see now that I've changed the color. So you can start to see how easy it is. Again, initial steps um, by changing the original files on how to do that. So to build some CSS overrides, we can just follow the same procedure here. So let's just go into our project. Uh, we're going to make a static folder. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. Typically, we have any static assets in a, some sort of static folder. So let's do that. Now, um, I've got the uh, Contrib static files uh, installed in my installed apps, uh, which means Django should find this static folder and make any overrides that we're going to include to override our admin area. So we're going to make a new folder here called admin. And remember inside of this folder, we need a file folder called CSS. So we're just modeling um, the similar kind of setup here we have in the lib and then in Django. And then inside of Django, we've got contrib. Inside of contrib, we've got admin. And then we've got the static folder. So we kind of start here. We're overriding static admin CSS. So what we're going to do now is create a file called base.css. That's what we were editing before. So I'm just going to copy that and then come out of there and then go back into my templates here in static admin CSS. And I'm going to create a new file here called base.css and then just going to paste all of that in. So this is going to make the um, the override to that CSS page. So I can now go ahead and um, let's just find where we made that black and then just now just let's make it different color to show that this is kind of working. So we're going to change the background of the header again. So now I've got that in place. Um, let's go now back over to the site and just refresh. And there we go. So that's just an example there of how you can now start thinking about bringing in those CSS into your project, into the static files and also in the template system. So before we end this, it's worth noting that there is an additional setting that I forgot to tell you. And of course, we're going to need to set up the static files directory uh, to tell Django where the static folder is. So in this respect, we could potentially change this. Let's just call this a test CSS folder, for example. We'll save that there. 
And let's just go back into our static. We're just going to rename this to test CSS. Uh, so that's our static folder. So let's just uh, see if this works. There we go. So I did a hard refresh. Remember, Control F5, hard refresh. And you can see it does work. So we can change uh, the different uh, folder to uh, whatever you want to uh, by just changing the static files directory. Now, of course, this is going to be slightly different when we uh, bring this into production. Obviously, that's a, a different matter here. Um, remember, if we are going to kind of uh, go through the process of um, working with static files in development, uh, just head over to the Django documentation. Here I am in the uh, Django docs here and static files. Just have a quick read through here because you'll probably want to change the settings um, for when you serve to your development and to your um, production environment. OK, so I hope that serves uh, some use uh, to answering the question, how do you edit the admin template? Um, of course, we can go further here and we will do we'll, we'll build bigger templates and uh, extensions and overrides, etc., to the admin area as we progress through the admin series. Um, but like I said, hopefully that was useful. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial.